Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. It's just a quick one today for this client because she is having plain nails, <laughs> which is a first for this client. I don't think she's ever had a set of plain nails since she's been coming to me for the past God knows how many years. So this is a first. She's decided that she wants to try and ease herself into plain um, because I will be going on maternity eventually, of course. Um, so she said she doesn't want to worry about nail art and stuff with whoever she goes to while I'm on maternity. So she said she wants to try and get used to plain and then she won't have to worry about finding someone who can do nail art and stuff like that because with her nails, I've mentioned it in basically every video of hers, she never really picks what she wants. She'll tell me a colour scheme but I just do the nail art. So finding someone that will do that for a new client is quite difficult. Me personally, I wouldn't, I don't have new clients at the moment, I don't take them on, but I wouldn't do that for a new client because you don't know them at all. The only reason I'm so comfortable doing it for her is because she's been coming to me for ages, so it's easy to make the decision. Um, so yeah, I get where she's coming from. It's a difficult decision to make to pick your own nail art and she's never really had to do it. <laughs> so she's given plain a go and she loved them at the end, so that's the main thing. She wasn't annoyed or disappointed that she'd gone play and she was really happy so that's that's good so i'm just using the ebony bit um i finally looked at it on one of academy because i use this in most of my videos and i can never tell you which one it is because i always forget um but yeah it's called ebony so that's how you can find it on willow academy's website and then just going in with this is basically the anastasia bit but it's not actually anastasia from willow academy it is the same style bit from somewhere else um, I'm just going around the cuticle area to push back the cuticles, make sure there's no skin on the nail plate in those areas, the cuticle and side walls. And like I said, like pushing the cuticle back at the same time to reveal more nail, um, and make them look a lot tidier. And then off camera, I will snip off the excess skin that is potentially going to be in the way and is just dead skin and doesn't need to be there. I will get rid of that off camera because it's very difficult with the angle that my phone is and stuff to do that on camera. And then I think I actually do that after this step, but, you know, it doesn't really make a difference. And then I'm just going in with my mandrel bit and a sanding band. This is just a 240 grit. And I'm using this to take a bit of length off and also rough up the nail plate, make sure there's nothing on there that's going to make the gel lift or anything. So we're just using that over the entire nail and also taking off a little bit of length um, because they are a bit long for her, but we stayed with rounded um, because that's the most natural looking shape in my opinion and because she's going for plain, she wants them to look quite natural. So once I've done that on all of the nails, I can then go in for my application. I apply, um, we're using nail orders builder gel as usual. I use that in every video now. I don't actually use any other brand of builder gel. Um, so... They require no base coat for Angel, but to use their primer. So I'm going to go in with some of that. I've actually started only applying it to the regrowth now because I suddenly realised that it's it's just not necessary to put it on previous product. Um, so, yeah, I just I, I don't waste it on the whole entire nail. I just put it on where the natural nail is. I'm just going in with my hand file now to file them into shape. I do this at the end of the service as well after I've put the colour on, especially with the gel colour application because it adds a little bit of bulk to the free edge. It can sometimes change the, slate, the shape slightly, so I like to give it a little quick finish file. So I'm not too bothered about getting it absolutely perfect at this point because I know that I'm going to do it again. We want to get it close enough to how we want the end result to be. So I don't want to take off too much at the end and break all the seals that we create with every layer of gel. So once I finish this, we can then go in with primer. I don't remember whether I did that on camera. I'm pretty sure I did because I don't usually, because I just forget. And then I always forget to mention that I've done it as well. So I just come back and then nails are shiny and sometimes people are unsure why, which makes a lot of sense because it's very random. <laughs> um, did I file both hands? On, yeah I did I filed both hands on camera I don't know whether I realized I did that at the time or not but here we are so I might as well leave it in now voice over in it oh no it's the same hand okay that was very confusing I don't know why I thought it was a different hand but just ignore me baby brain's very much kicked in um <laughs> it's very much taken over so once I've done this like I said primer and then we'll do a thin coat of angel builder gel basically just apply that how you would a base coat if you were going to use a base coat and then go in with a thicker layer of angel. We don't need as much or as thick 
um, on these nails because they're not really particularly very long so there's no point making them really thick because they'll just look like little bowling balls and that's not the look we're going for um, so yeah <laughs> but this client's been decorating again so she's got a bit of lifting on a couple of nails so as you can see I did remove that the middle nail has got pretty much no product left on it it's just the really thin layer that I would have applied at the first time last time um, so I did take that off uh, no I did leave that sorry it took all the lifting off you don't want it infill on top of lifting because you're just setting yourself up for disaster. I don't ever do that. So yeah, just going in with a really thin layer. This is Cherub. It didn't really matter what colour we used this time or last time because she's having full colour this time. Last time she had a full design in colour anyway, whereas a lot of the time we do designs with colours on top of the builder gel for this client, where we didn't last time, obviously not this time, so I didn't need to worry about which colour we used. I am waiting for a delivery from Nail Order from their spring sale um, that was over Easter bank, bank holiday weekend. So once that comes, I'll do a little unboxing of it because I ordered quite a lot of gels. They're all just builder gels, so it's nothing really exciting. It's just a restock of essentials, basically. But I love watching people unbox anything, so I'll still do a video for it. Um, and I will swatch the Builder Gels in that video as well, actually, because I still haven't done swatches for them for my clients. So it would be helpful for you to see the swatches in case you're thinking of moving over to it. And also for my clients to see the swatches in case they want to mix up their Builder colour at any point. So I'm going to let you watch this now because it's just a plain set. There's not really much for me to talk through. We're just applying a thicker layer of the Angel Builder Gel now. I have got a full bottle of this, but decided to use the last of this bottle, which looks is why it looks like I'm struggling so much to get it out. But I, I'm, I used to have a really good habit of throwing bottles away way too early, like before they're anywhere near finished, just as soon as it became a little bit difficult to get some out. So I've stopped doing that because it costs a fortune to do that and just throw away a lot of product. Um, but yeah. We had plenty in this bottle to do this whole set and more. So it's a good job I had not thrown it away. So I'll let you continue watching. The colour that I'm using is from the Gel Box UK. It's from their monthly subscription boxes. I don't remember which box it was. Not that it would matter. But um, it's called Blush Martini. It's a beautiful colour. Um, it's really nice, neutral nude with a slight pink undertone. It's just beautiful. Very pale. Really good coverage though in two coats, which is brilliant. I think I only did one coat on camera because... And do the exact same thing twice it was a bit pointless to film it but i just go in with a striper brush on these nails um i do four nails like pinky to index finger first pop these in the lamp do the same on the other hand and then do the thumb separately because they're on the side and i don't want anything to run while i'm doing each nail uh not that it does to be fair obviously as you can see the other nails that gel is exactly where i left it which is brilliant so here is the color i was talking about beautiful neutral pink nude it's not overly pink though, which is good. It's it's really nice and natural. Well, it's not natural colour, obviously, like of a nail, but neutral is the word we go for. It, it goes with everything. So yeah, I'll let you finish watching this video. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll be back soon with another one. Bye.